welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Chris back with my thought of the day. And it's all about our wonder kid. That's right. I'm talking about Louis Miley. Massive congratulations to Louis Miley. He has made it onto the NXGN 2024 wonder kid list. It's the 50 biggest wonder kids in world football. And our very own Louis Miley, the Stanley Zidane, is in at number 19, which is incredible. Really, it's uh, it's amazing. And a breakthrough season for the lad to be that high up the list. He's in some esteemed company as well. You know, the, the top 10 includes Ardeguea from Real Madrid and... Is it uh, um, Yamal from Barcelona? For some weird reason, Kobe Mania at number seven. Like He's a decent player, but I think they've rated him a little bit too highly. But anyway, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about Louis Miley. What an unbelievable breakthrough season for this kid. And it's a massive congratulations to him. He, he's just been in the England under-20 squad as well. A 5-1 win uh, against Poland away, where a certain Lewis Hall played really well left-back. I hope you're watching that game. But it's uh, it's credit where it's due for Louis Miley. He's been sensational this season since he's come in the team. Um, I've been so excited to see him progress as a player. We saw the glimpses of it that last game of the season against Chelsea. We hit the bar from miles out and we all thought, oh, hang on a minute, this kid looks decent. Pre-season, he was fantastic. And obviously through the copious amounts of injuries Newcastle have had this season, he's had to step up and boy, howdy, has he stepped up. 20 appearances between the Premier League and the Champions League. Three assists and one goal. 17 years old, man. Honestly, 17 years old, I was collecting fucking glasses in Whitley Bay. This kid is unbelievable. The, the poise, the calm, the brain that he shows on him, the, the eloquence, you know, the touch. He never gets rattled. I don't think I've ever seen him really lose the ball. And if I have... It's probably been against real top opposition. The kids played away at the Parc de Prince, tackling, you know, killing Mbappe. He come on against City. He should have started, in my opinion, straight away. Picks Phil Foden's pocket and runs off with the ball. It's just, it's just a phenomenal footballer, it really is. And I think this kid could be our Phil Foden. I really do. I'm so excited to see this lad grow at Newcastle United and, and really become that player that we've all been crying out for for years. You know, Liverpool have had the Steven Gerrards. You know, I know West Ham obviously had Frank Lampard to start with, but then he, you know, really became the household name at Chelsea. Got Phil Foden, obviously at uh, Manchester City, and we need a player like that. We need a player that we can just go, wow, look at this kid. He is something special, and he's one of ours. And we've grown him internally. We've had some good players come through the ranks over the years, no doubt. You know, you know, Dummett, uh, Stevie Taylor's, the Longstaff brothers. You know, hard work and decent footballers who do a really good job. But I just think Louis Miley has that little bit of something extra about him that just you look at him and think that that kid could be something really, really special. You know, the, the kind of previous winners of of this uh, competition or, or top of this competition would be the likes of Jude Bellingham, Rodrigo, Jaden Sancho. So they've all got on to good things as a as a senior player. And I just hope Louis keeps progressing in this team. I think he's under the right manager to nurture him as well. But I will say as a caveat. You need to start playing them already, especially with Sean Longstaff playing on literally one foot. Uh, Louis Miley is good enough, old enough, and he has the quality to impact this team. And I'd love to see a midfield of Bruno, Joe Willock and Louis Miley against West Ham when we come back from this warm weather break, the international break. But it's great to see Louis get rewards. And uh, I just think he's, uh, he's he's going to be here for years to come. And I really think he could be our Phil Foden. I saw some batshit crazy stuff going around on X, which is literally the toilet bowl of social media. People saying, oh, would you sell Louis Miley to get maximum profit? No, I fucking wouldn't. And I don't think most Newcastle fans with a brain cell would either. This kid is, is better than Sean Longstaff now, in my opinion. And I think he's only going to get better and better and better. You know, the whole story about Bruno moving on, you know, I'm starting to... It really cut the terms of the fact that I think he's going to go in the summer. I don't want to be negative. I just think it's pragmatic with the way FFP stacked against us, you know, with Bruno's contract, with interest from over in La Liga from the two big Spanish clubs that, you know, obviously entice the South American players as they do. I wouldn't be surprised to see Bruno move on and, uh, you know, for us to get a hundred million quid and then reinvest in the squad. But I think with the progression of Louis Miley this season, it could soften the blow long term. I'm not saying we won't miss Bruno. Jesus Christ, no, of course we'd miss Bruno. And we'd probably have to buy somebody in to replace him who's a bit more senior. But you look at the way Louis Miley's progressed in every single game. You know, he, he come on with that great football intelligence, that ability to pick a pass. He started to get a bit aggressive. Now, you go look at his FB ref stats and he's right up there in terms of clearances, tackles, blocks. He's really becoming a, more of an aggressive midfielder. You know, remember that goal, Harvey Barnes goal against Luton where he makes that smash tackle, gets the ball back from Barkley. If the lad can add that to his game, as well as his ability to pick a pass and, and be so calm in that moment, he's going to be an unbelievable midfielder for Newcastle United. And at 17 years old, he's already amazed us all and he's 19th on this list. And massive credit goes to Louis Obviously, his family, the club as well, for the way that they've nurtured him through the ranks. And I'm really excited to see what Louis Miley can do for the back end of this season. I think he could be a massive... 
factor in getting us to a decent league finish. Go away in the summer, come back. You never know. You know, Cristiano Ronaldo went away one summer as a skinny whippet, come back as a fucking middleweight boxer. Maybe Louis Miley might do the same thing and hit next season in the Premier League and just be an absolute beast. But I think the kid's a phenomenal footballer and I'm really excited to see how he progresses with Newcastle United. I think we've got a star there. Our Phil Foden, well done Louis Miley. And uh, let's hope that he can have an impact towards back end of this season and certainly for seasons to come. That's my thoughts about this, guys. Let us know what you think about this. Smash a comment in, like the video, subscribe if you like this kind of a thing. If you want to be a member, there's an option down there too. It's all free content, never more. But if you want to be a member and support the channel, help me and Mark bring this great content, feel free to do so. Have a belt that day wherever you are. We'll be back with some more content. What's going on back Monday night. Even though Newcastle are away, we are back with a crack. Come and join us as always. Have a good day. See you later. Cheers.